Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Silent Hill 3. I'm Psycho145. I'm Silent Pyramid X. And when we last last left off, I can't exactly That's remember. I just want to make a quick comment. Like, I like how at this point, like, the other world is just like an annoyance. Like, at this point in the series, oh fuck, here comes that other world. It's gonna fucking break all the doors and make me solve stupid riddles to get to basic places. <laughs> Did you like Shakespeare? No. Too bad, bitch. <laughs> so when we last left off, uh, we were trying to uh, fuck if I know, get the hell out the shopping mall. Not even. <laughs> Yeah, it's like not even fucking scary anymore. We haven't even gotten like a goal. Oh, oh. Best thing ever. Perfect example. Like, if you ever notice, like, Silent Hill characters will always take, like, these items that there is no possible way that they would know that they're gonna need that. But lo and behold, they end up needing it for some stupid bullshit. But, like, I can't even wrap my head around, like, what would possess them to take it in the first place. And this is probably the prime example of that. I mean, like, if I was, like, sucked into Silent Hill because I murdered my wife or something like that, I would be so fucked. Like, it's... I wouldn't die because of the fucking monsters or the incredibly unfathomable riddles. No, I would die because I didn't pick up the fucking Beyblade that I need 47 years later. <laughs> I thought nothing. I thought nothing significant of it. I didn't go. Hmm. I might need this walnut almond. Like it's just. No. Like ser seriously, think about it. Like she's trapped in a nightmare. There's monsters everywhere. There's like pipes on the wall. I'd be taking like part of the pipes, you know, maybe for a weapon to defend myself, you know, like take, you know, break off a piece of wood, you know, like a shard of glass or something. But no, she walks into this place. Fucking walnut. Gotta take that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the monsters are allergic. I think that's it. Oh, and don't, let's not forget the beef jerky. At least she has her priorities a bit straight. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so the elevator doesn't work as usual in Silent Hill games. Yeah, like I said before, the other world's not even, like, fucking scary at this point in the series. It's just, like, become an annoyance. Like, <laughs> god damn it, it's gonna fucking break all the doors. <laughs> Make me go stupid roundabout ways to get to basic fucking places. What's that? You wanted to climb a ladder? <laughs> Too bad. Motherfuck. Let's not let's not forget that also when you go into the other world you can't walk, as clearly evidenced by every protagonist in the goddamn Silent Hill series. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just gonna walk into every wall. Yeah, you have like you know two choices: run or get raped. <laughs> and... Okay, so still have. What was it? Wait, oh, she said something about him. At, le at least, like, you know, you can actually, like, outrun the majority of the enemies in this game. I remember Silent Hill 1 was full of those fucking annoying bird things. Oh, God. It, like, they, they were so quick. Like, it's something that shouldn't have existed within the parameters of the game mechanics and still be fair. Yeah, it, those... Silent Hill 1 was a bullshit game. I loved it, but, I mean, God... They, they didn't really have, like, the mechanics figured out too well yet. I mean, they'd never really tried anything like that before, so... Yeah, the closest you actually got... Still, they were still trying to figure shit out, like... Okay, I've tried almost every goddamn door in this place. No, dude, um... You gotta go back, um... It's on the third floor, you gotta pick up that key. Oh, yeah. Oh, god, I forgot go about that. Go back to the escalator. It's... Okay, uh, is that the door? No, that's, that's a hall. That's just a normal hole in the wall. Alright. I'm surprised Heather hasn't foreshadowed anything else. Yeah, right? Like, it's, this has been like foreshadowing three. <laughs> Shit gets rusty, all doors are locked. <laughs> Silent Hill 3 shit gets rusty, all doors are locked. <laughs> Alright, so we're... Oh, that's appetizing. Actually, no, that's just, that's just like a the most simply and accurate explanation for like the series as a whole. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on. What is this barbecue dog? 
who the hell would make something like this? Well, seeing as you're in a nightmare world... If, dude, is she, is she autistic or something? <laughs> like, she analyzes every stupid little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of thinking, hmm, why is there a barbecue dog on here? She's asking who made it. <laughs> like, fucking Emerald's gonna pop out of nowhere and be like, BAM! <laughs> Furthermore, who would eat it? Hmm... You're probably in a nightmare world, you stupid bitch. There's something in the dog's stomach. Got the cooked key. Ah. Well, it kind of makes sense. Like, this game was made by the Japanese, and there's a cooked dog on the table, so. <laughs> Losing a wine bottle. I don't really feel like eating and drinking stuff from an alternate reality, okay? Well, you just shoved your hand into a dog's stomach, but you're not fine with drinking anything whatsoever. And that's, yeah. That's neat. Oh, sweet. What about the house drinks? Aren't they from an alternate reality also? Dude, that is so true. Like, she's fine with, like, drinking this thing labeled health drink, which is sketchy as fuck. <laughs> like this. No, no, actually, go back there for a second. I want to make, like, a, a serious bit of commentary, if you don't mind. Oh, I don't mind at all. Uh, go look outside. I really like this bit of detail. Like, if you look outside, like, everything on the outside world is perfectly normal. So it gives you that sense that, like, like you know, the, like, safety is so close yet so far away at the same time. And you're just trapped in this nightmare. Well, I mean, you're not necessarily, like, trapped. I'm sure she could shoot the damn window out if she wanted to. But I get what you're saying. It's definitely, it provides a feeling of isolation. Yeah, yeah. It's a very nice detail that the game's added, and it's another thing that I just love about the damn series. Oh, yeah. And then we just come back here in Vagina Tower, just sitting outside the door waiting for us politely. Hi there, dog. Hey, puppy. I have to check all these doors. I think that's the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the place where the Easter egg happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you have uh, Silent Hill 2 data on your memory card, she, uh, you go to examine the toilet, it'll, uh, she'll go down to, she'll say, um, I think there's something inside it, and she'll, like, you know, get ready to, like, you know, examine it, and, you know, reach inside to go get it. Then she stops herself, and she looks at the camera as if she's talking to the player, and said, never mind, I don't know anything, I don't know anyone who would do something this gross. And it's... For those of you who have to play Silent Hill 2 or Silent Hill 1, it's a reference because in Silent Hill 2, James, the main protagonist, he's... He says he thinks he sees something in this nasty-ass fucking toilet. <laughs> and he just shoves his hand down there. Like, seriously, it's all brown. It's, like, literally covered in shit. <laughs> and he's just, like... The, the guy, he's, he's not exactly got the most common sense. He's suffering from what I, I like to call Silent Hill Protagonist Syndrome. It's where you do things, or say things, that just normal people don't do. I mean, this game builds up such an atmosphere, and I really like that about it. But there are some bits where, like, it's just, it completely shatters it because they wrote a bad line. Right. And that happened a lot more in Silent dude, Hill. Dude, 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 I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna post this theory. Like, every character of Silent Hill is autistic, and that's why they're trapped in a dream, because they're stuck in their imagination. <laughs> that's, that would make sense. And that's why they act, that's why they say things like that, that's why they do things like that. They analyze every stupid they little thing, yet they're really smart at the Pick up every time. goddamn walnut. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, nope. Yeah, there we go. I used the cooked key. This is the weapon of champs, folks. It's the weapon I'm going to be using until I encounter a boss, too. Let's equip that shit. Oh, well, I still have the knife. What the hell? Spooky. Maybe it wasn't a dream. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, so, um, gonna move on through this door. 
Man, I hate when this game gets really wide open, just because you know there's going to be a shit ton of monsters, and it just... Ugh. Granted, you can run past all of them, but still. Yeah, I gotta pick up this. And then the, the other part of it, I'm pretty sure, is on the first floor. Alright. You gotta check out the bathroom. There's something really just creepy about this. Like, I don't know why. Of all the things that creep me out in this game, this is just one of it. Like, it's... So are you saying you're not a fan of things? Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! I see what you did there. Oh! Oh! Oh no, I didn't. Uh oh! Oh yes. I did. <laughs> Okay, yeah, just checking. Fucking hellbars. <laughs> I can't very well stab them one by one. Some insecticide would do the trick. That's called thinking with your noggin. Good job, Heather. I'm not examining that door because, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna put my money on it. I bet you the fucking lock's broken. No, you're just, you, at this point, you just know it's gonna be tough. <laughs> like, like, you shouldn't even try. Like, anything that doesn't lead to, like, a main, like, hallway or something, you just know it's not going to work. And sometimes main hallways will be freaking blocked off. I'm like Fetus Monster. Nope. Oh, Fetus Monster. I have no idea what the real name for those damn things are, and even if I did, I'd still call it Fetus Monster. That's locked, not broken. Oh, but that means you yep, get it? I just need to find the key. That's the way I came, isn't it? Yep. Well, yeah, but you want to make your way back down to the first floor. Yeah. Just go back to that escalator thing. Oh, is there an escalator? No, you know, the no, the one that you, uh, the one that you took to get to the third floor. You can go down it and go to oh, the first sweet. floor. Oh, sweet. They didn't, they're not going to make you backtrack your ass off? Well, a little bit, but... Well, like, no, like, that doesn't, it isn't as bad as, like, the first Resident Evil. Yeah, they're not going to make you go down the fucking ladder, <laughs> I remember there was this bit in Silent Hill 1 where, like, you, you hit the other world, you hit nowhere, is what it was called. And if you didn't unjam yeah. a door, then say goodbye to your oh, progress. Dude, it took me so long to figure that out. Like, I was like, this, they didn't beta test this, like, you can't beat this yeah. shit. <laughs> if, like... Because there's a door that takes you from the second floor to the first floor, but you don't notice. Because the first floor and second floor, like, hallways, they look the same. And, like, you don't have a map for the And, place. like, the elevator's open. So that's what you've been using primarily to get to the first floor, second floor, blah, 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 blah. But when the power goes out, the generator goes out, there's no other way to go, you know, traverse floors. Whoa, oh. Oh, ball! Oh, wait. Oh! 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 Thanks for watching. Dude, you know what it is? I normally play on easy riddle difficulty because I don't want to deal with the bullshit. And on easy riddle, like, it, it just lets you just use the SQL. <laughs> like, when you bumped up the difficulty, I guess it's like, well, fuck you. It's not going to make it that easy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm playing on 145. Oh, I'm silent here in the next. <laughs> and we'll see you next time, audience.